and welcome to Just Event Online News Update. I am Anifat Ismahi. First, the news headline. Federal government accuses NMA of failing to fulfill agreement. COVID-19. Corral State government flag of second phase of vaccination. Choir goats Anna general meeting, apps on insecurity, youth empowerment and others. Asu threatens fresh strike, gives federal government Tuesday ultimatum. And on sport. OBG wins Nigeria's sixth medal at Tokyo Paralympics. government has accused the Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, of failing to fulfill its part of the Memorandum of Understanding it signed nine days ago to end the strike by the NAT. Labor and Employment Minister Chris Ngige said the 21-day ultimatum the NMA gave the federal government was in direct collision with the MOU it signed on August 21, 2021. A statement by the spokesman of the federal ministry of Labor and Employment, Charles Agban said the government was religiously implementing its own side of the agreement with effective monitoring by Office of the Minister. The current state government on Monday said that the state had put in place measures that will ensure that Quara residents have equitable access to COVID-19 vaccine. Representing the state's governor in Illori during the flag off. The Commissioner for Health, Honorable Raji Razak, stressed that all ants must be on deck to ensure all indigents know that the vaccine is safe. According to him, the vaccine available in the state are modern. According to him, the vaccine available in the state are Moderna and AstraZeneca, with a stand warning from the World Health Organization against the mixing and matching of vaccine of different manufacturers. Speaking at the event, the Executive Secretary of Kwara State Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Nusirat Elelu, said over 100,000 Kwarans vaccinated in two doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine in the first phase. The flag off was witnessed by representatives of government officials, health agency, market women, educational institution, and others. It was a very interactive and engaging session yesterday at Igbomina House, Gomo, as Kwara South Youth Development Organization, Kwayok, held the inaugural annual general meeting. The garden was majorly youth-centered and created an avenue to review the activities of the organization, born in salient issues in the region, especially on insecurity, job creation, and leadership engagement for the progress and growth of the region. The president of the organization, Barry Statiti Lokbe Akogun, challenged young people of the region to focus more on entrepreneurship and reduce their involvement in political discussion or bickering that would not be of benefit to them. The Academic Staff Union of Universities has expressed its readiness to embark on another round of industrial action following what it's called the failure of the federal government to implement an agreement signed with the union. The union is giving the government a month end to reach out or will activate the procedure of embarking on strike. The union's president, Professor Emmanuel Oshodeke, disclosed this on Sunday, adding that the federal government no longer pick its cause. And on sports, Lovely Obiji has won Nigeria's sixth medal at the ongoing 2020 Tokyo Paralympics in Japan. She bagged silver in women's plus 86G and lifted 147kg. Our medal takes Nigerian to the 21st position on the medal table with three gold, one silver and two bronze medals. Also on Sunday, Team Nigeria's Bosse Omolayo display high-level resilience and dexterity to claim the country's second gold medal. The Atwami display also threw Team Nigeria's cap into jubilation raising the morale of other athletes ahead of the events for the remaining days of the game. We have come to the end of news updates for today. Here is the recap of the story. 
Federal government accuses NMA of failing to fulfill agreement. COVID-19. Corrupts the government flag of second phase of vaccination. Quiet Oats Annual General Meeting apps on insecurity, youth empowerment, and others. As to threatens fresh strike, gives federal government use their ultimatum. And on sports, OBG wins Nigeria six medal at Tokyo Paralympics. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News Update. Remember, when you make a positive impact in someone else's life, you also make a positive impact in your own life. To read more news, visit www.justeventonline.com and for more updates, follow us on our social media and with a tag at Just Event Online. I am Anifat Smahi.